For the first time, the police had discovered another victim, but this time there was a lead. First, they discovered what seems to be a car crash debris in which they are determined to find the make of the vehicle. Also, there were human footprints around the dead victim in the woods, which means the beast had already made its kill before coming in contact with Lenny Griffith. Nora asked Jacobson to come with her to the scene of the crime and asked Les Phillips to be invited to the police station for questioning. As for Lenny Griffith, it, Jaron's present health was not encouraging for his treatment was aggressive but yielded no positive result and his health had not improved for the better but for the worse. And the new treatment which is being suggested by Jaron's doctor was experimental and way more aggressive as it is a 50-50% chance that this treatment will be successful. It was like rolling a dice or hoping to win the next coming lottery when casting numbers. There was no guarantee that Jaren would come out alive from this treatment which was experimental. It was in the woods where he left his wife for help for there was nothing he could do for her for she fell down by the cliff of a mountain and broke her leg in fear. She objected on her husband leaving her on her own but by the time he came back for help she was dead, killed, devoured by some wild beast. Les Phillips whom Nora suspected and feels that he knows more than he is leading on was trying to get under her skin for he was a drifter whom was squatting in a cabin near the woods close to the murder scene but was not given Giving any answer that would help the case. The only thing he wanted to talk about was Nora's late sister, making comparison with a sister's death and recent victims having similar patterns. And he was wondering why her brother-in-law was not called in for interrogation. He was talking like he knows he saw something and in irritation, Nora almost lost her cool, almost manhandling Les Philip but her deputy put a stop to it. For seven days, Anton had refused to eat in his weak state, for he was being drugged and induced by Lenny Griffith and being held captive in his basement without reporting him to the police. Anton warned Lenny that tranquilizing and inducing him with drugs will not make him weak when the full moon surface, that it was in his best interest to let him go, for there are consequences for his actions. But one thing Anton doesn't see coming is that Lenny Griffith has his own agenda and all it takes is patience and the full moon. Anton revealed that he had been a werewolf for 91,136 nights and days. It started hundreds of years ago as a soldier in a French military battalion. They were in a war with the British army and they had been defeated. So to avoid more deaths, they passed through these woods which had a pathway to another region of of the land to avoid detection but as they go further the weather of the night was very harsh and it slowed them down but worst of all there was something dangerous in the woods following and trailing them one by one the beast began to hunt and kill them each night by killing and devouring them it was a scary thing for Anton for he was the only one left and his mental state of mind was delving towards suicide and he was scared out of his wits. As he was about to end his own life, the beast struck and there was a fight between the two. For Anton had a silver sword and with it he struck the werewolf and killed it. As he sees the beast transforming into a man without realizing he was infected. Only for the full moon to appear and he turned to a werewolf. Lenny Griffith was shocked to know that Anton was 256 years of age and questioned Anton integrity for going along with the wolf's instinct in killing innocent people. But Anton told him that he had no control of the wolf. For there is a good wolf and an evil wolf in which Lenny asked him how to choose the good wolf. But he pretended to fall asleep when it came
time to answering that question. As Lenny Griffith came out of his basement, he was surprised to see Les Philip, who was talking in riddles and questioned him on what he was hiding in the basement. But Lenny wasn't in the mood for Les Philip's games as he ordered him to leave his property. To Lenny's shock, Les Phillips told him he had evidence on him. In fact, he took pictures of him with a gun next to Anton's big body, which from a perspective looks controversial and suspicious. And the main reason he hadn't shown this evidence to the police was because he was tired of being labeled the village idiot and he wants to be the hero who caught the killer and they can share the bounty. And Lenny agreed. But one thing Les Phillips doesn't understand about Lenny Griffith is that Lenny Griffith had other ambition that surpasses the money or the bounty. Now the police are getting close to the mysterious footprints around the last murder victim and the clues they found around the scene of the murder was Lenny Griffith's championship ring.